excited about this video i am not even gonna lie to you i have not done something like this in a very very long time so i want to go ahead and jump right into it so cartoon that's like the vibe that i'm going for for today's video i only remember doing like a cartoon type nail set once or twice before so i went and scrolled back on my tiktok content and i found it on tiktok two years ago can you believe that two years ago i did this nail set right here and it was a spongebob nail set really fun and i was just like you know what this is like such a full circle moment it just makes sense yes let's do a cartoon nail set and might as well go ahead and do spongebob let's let's do some spongebob nails now i didn't want to try to recreate this nail set like to the t like exactly like i did it here so i was shopping one day with my fiance and i saw this shirt it's a spongebob two-piece from h&m i saw it in the men's section and i was like hmm these need to go on some nails like it's a trippy version of um spongebob you got spongebob patrick gary on here you got Squidward, he chilling on here too. They look like something is seriously wrong with them. But I feel like this will give me a challenge to try to recreate every single intricate detail of the characters that's on this shirt, just exactly how it is on a set of nails. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And this will also be a, like a great opportunity to see my progress from two years ago to now but let's get into it i'm super excited about it and sanfalan sent me some of their gel polishes and there's a ton of gel polishes in this little box it comes with a ton of colors it really got me in like the cartoon mood because of how many different colors is in here like take a look so I want to give a big thank you to Savaland for sponsoring this video. I'm super excited about it. So far, I love these polishes just by looking at them. I'm going to unbox it for you and show you guys first and foremost before we get into the video. And they also sent me some chrome nail powders. It's 12 different colors of chrome powders. I will have the link for both of these in the description down below so you guys can find it. Um, but first, before we get into the video, I want to go ahead and do my notification shout outs. These are my first three people who commented on my last video. I want to give you guys a a big thank you for hitting that notification bell and subscribing to the channel i love you guys and if you want to shout out just like these three people here all you have to do is make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and be one of the first three people to comment on my videos okay so i have to show y'all the outfit let me stand up so y'all can see it like it's a two-piece like some pants came with it and this came out of the men's section y'all i had to stuff it up in my bra here and like make it girly but yeah the pants to match like it's giving very obnoxious but i love it honestly but yeah let's do some nails to match all of this all right so let's start with the gel polishes you open it up and boom there's 30 gel polishes here all different colors and then on the side there's a top coat a matte top coat and then a foundation gel which is what we're gonna use to help apply our chrome nail powders there's different shades of oranges and um i find that the darker shades of the colors are more pigmented than the lighter shades like the lighter shades i definitely needed a second coat with but the darker ones were more pigmented which makes sense and i only needed one coat to do these sample nails with but I love the colors like they're super vibrant and it's super pretty like look at them and I'm definitely going to need every single one of these colors to try to execute this nail set so we got some work cut out for us y'all let's get into these chrome powders okay so we got 12 different colors of chrome you open up the box boom and we have all of these different chromes in here i really needed some more chrome powder so this really came in handy like this came on time in a timely fashion it looks like when you flip them over you can see what color it is underneath because some of these you can't really tell what color it is just by looking at it from the top so on the bottom it tells you what color you got all right, once I took everything out of the box, I lift up this little foam piece and we have the little applicators, which is really, really good because I was wondering at first, I was like, I know y'all not going to give us all these chrome powders and not have nothing to rub the chrome on with. So yeah, that's good to have. Definitely going to find a way to incorporate the chrome 
in the nail set we'll see we'll see okay so first of course we're starting off with a blank canvas so i have to bring out my favorite cover tips to use these are from amazon i will have them in my amazon storefront so you guys can find it and um they're 3xl and i'm thinking i'm gonna leave them this length so they're gonna be 3xl okay <laughs> they're gonna be extra long i need as much room as possible so we're gonna leave these babies this size. I'm going to do the nails off of my nails. So here is where these come in. These are the little um, Presto nail stands. I got these from Shein. Um, and I also got the putty from Shein too as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the pointer finger on the stand. And we're gonna start with the pointer. I'm thinking with the pointer finger, I want to do either Gary or I was thinking one of these little jellyfishes. And they're like veiny, like they have veins popping out of them. So I definitely wanna incorporate that. Let's start with that base color though. So I am going to use this shade of purple. As you can see, this shirt is like two different shades of purple going throughout here. And I think this shade of purple, um, just matches perfectly. Of course, it's from the Savlan box that I just unboxed. Just one coat with this light color is not going, it's not cutting it, y'all. Um, I really want it to be more vibrant than that. It's a little, you can see through it a little bit and we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that coat, that one coat. And now we're gonna come back with the second coat. Okay, this is what we want. So since we're doing nail art, I really want to, I like doing nail art on top of like a tacky surface. It just, it makes the world of a difference, honestly. So I'm gonna take um, some matte polish. This is the matte polish that came out of the Savalan box. And I'm gonna do one coat of this matte polish. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that one coat for about 25, 30 seconds. Okay, now that that's done curing, I'm gonna take this buffer and I'm just gonna lightly buff out the surface of this nail just so, like I said, I can do the, the designs on a tacky surface. I'm telling you, ever since I started doing this while doing nail art, it makes the world of a difference. Definitely try this if you haven't tried it before, but I am just taking alcohol and wiping off all of that nail dust so we can have a clean surface to do this nail art on. So we are doing the jellyfish and I'm gonna start with this pink right here from the Savalan gel collection. And as you can tell, the pink is real, real pale. Like it almost looks white if you just take a quick glance at it. And on the shirt, the jellyfish are not that light. So I wanna darken it up just a little bit. I'm gonna take this other darker pink also from the Savalan gel um, collection, mix it together and we kind of get like a bubble gum kind of color. And I like it, I think it, pretty much for the most part matches. So we're gonna start with this color. So first I wanna start by outlining what shapes we want. And I wanna focus on the biggest part of the jellyfish, which is the head or the body or whatever you wanna call it. So I basically think of like a semi-circle. So I'm gonna start with a line and then from that line, I'm going to make a kind of like a dome. So a nice big curve and i feel like that's a pretty good start right there it almost looks like a ufo or something so we're gonna make it look a little bit more like a jellyfish by adding that little squiggly line that's like right under the little semi-circle part so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just adding that little squiggly line detail and this is what i learned when doing detailed nail art the more details that you add on to it the more realistic it will look so i am definitely going to focus on all of the details i see 
in this shirt <laughs> for each character and in the corner i went over just a little bit too much so i am going to take my a little brush that i have and just dip it in some acetone and just take just a little bit of that line away i, I kind of made that line too thick but i'm telling y'all right now acetone is going to be my best friend <laughs> throughout this whole nail set okay so after I cured this right here, I think it is way too light. It blends right in with that purple and that's not what we trying to do. So I am going to do a base of white and then add the pink back on top of the white so that pink can really pop. It's going to be more vibrant with that white underneath. And really that's what I should have did to begin with. But you know, it is what it is. So I went on and outlined it off camera. And then as you can see, I'm filling it right on in with some white gel polish. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Now I cured the shape first, me outlining the shape and then of course filled it in and then i'm gonna cure that so i'm curing as i go so that way if i make a mistake i don't have to wipe away the whole thing and start from the very beginning i hope that made sense but yeah cure as you go whenever doing nail art but um as you can see here we're putting that pink on top and already you can definitely see a huge difference in contrast between the pink and the purple it pops way better so from here on out i'm going to start the um outline of each shape and the base with white and then we're going to add the color that we want on top of that just so it pops off of whatever our base color is so i went on and cured that and right now it looks like a big blob of pink but i promise you guys once we add more details to it it'll start to come together so just wait on it but i am going to start with the little legs now so um we're gonna of course do little squiggly lines and there's four of them so i'm gonna do four little squigglies and the base is gonna be white like i said before and then we're going to add pink on top after we cure that white now this white gel polish was not in the gel the savaland gel collection that i showed you guys in the beginning of the video um, i'm using my own that i purchased from a different brand but um all the other colors that i'm using on this set is from that savalan gel kit so right here i'm just adding like a little detail that i saw in the picture they had a little dot kind of following behind one or two of his tentacles like i said every little detail that you add really really makes it more realistic so i just wanted to add that there and then i went on and added the pink on top cured it that's how it looks looks good so far so next i'm going to add the little red spots that's on the jellyfish i'm going to use this gel um paint from savalan as well i mean by savalan as well i think i got this from amazon and it looks a little untouched like i haven't touched it in a while that's because i have not but it's still very pigmented still works i just have to mix it up a little bit but yeah we're gonna do the big dot first as you can see i started with the cross and now i'm going to make a circle connecting each um each of the lines together to make a complete perfect circle i think doing it with a cross it really helps to make a nice perfect circle i saw an artist do this to make eyes um and i never went back <laughs> so whenever i do circles i always start with a cross first especially bigger mainly bigger circles if it's a smaller circle i'll just use a dotting tool And these other two circles, I'm just going to go ahead and freehand them. I could have used a dotting tool to do them, but um, I already had my little liner brush in my hand. So, yeah, just freehand those two, cure that, and we're good to go. Honestly, just by adding those three dots, it already looks way more like the picture than before. I haven't even added the outlining details yet, but... Um, I want to go ahead and do the shadowing details. So there's a little shadow behind the jellyfish. So I'm going to take some top coat and mix in just a dab, just a little pinch of black just to make gray, like a clearish gray. And we're going to just outline um, the jellyfish with it really so it can 
look like it's a shadow behind him, of course. So I'm just gonna outline the right half of him and not the whole thing. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And that's how it looks, y'all. After curing that, I'm talking about so excited for the rest of the set. Like this is this is gonna be good. I was super nervous about doing this um t-shirt, turning this t-shirt into some nails, but now like I'm getting a little bit of confidence, just a little bit. So um now that we have the shadows, we're gonna go ahead and outline the whole jellyfish with black do some black outlining so i'm going to take a detailed liner brush and just outline the whole thing i want very thin and delicate lines so i'm just going to outline it with a light hand just very lightly just go across it just glide across it really um that's how i get the thinner lines and not so thick lines i think the more pressure you put down on it or the more weight you put down on your brush the thicker the line so just very lightly glide and then you get a nice thin line so yeah i'm outlining the whole jellyfish and i'm also outlining the circles that are inside of the jellyfish because i see that's how it is on the picture as you can see, I did the rest off camera. Love the way it's turning out. The very last detail we have to worry about is the veins. If you can look back at the picture, there's veins kind of popping out of the um, jellyfish. So we gotta add the veins. So I am just taking that same red and just doing little squiggly lines very thin squiggly lines to mimic like a veiny look and it actually turned out really really good i feel like veins are like the for me personally is one of the most easiest things to do because it takes little effort all you gotta do is little squiggly lines but anyways i see in the picture like there's like a little pink line on the inside of the vein so i'm just taking some pink um gel from the savalan kit and i'm just going in very lightly and it actually does make it look a little better so i'm glad i added that one little incy weeksy detail and now i'm finished with the jellyfish so this is the finished look for the jellyfish but um if you look on the t-shirt you can see on the t-shirt there's like little specks of stuff kind of like just floating around the characters so i want to also do that on the nail i'm going to take this green and um lighten it up just a little bit with some white so it can match the color that's on the shirt a little bit more and i am going to just mimic what's on the shirt honestly i don't know what it is um <laughs> it's a lot going on in this shirt okay um i'm just going to just make it look as close as possible to whatever it is on the shirt and i'm going to have that throughout the whole nail set okay so this is the finished look just look at it i just love it i just want to eat it up oh my gosh so look at how it looks on the shirt and then look at the nail one thing i would have done differently i would have made the jellyfish just a little smaller but it's cool it's okay i'm still happy with it so moving on the next thing we have to do is um one of the characters so i'm thinking let's do patrick so we're going to give patrick a base color of purple that's going to be his background and of course i'm using savalan we're using one of the purples out of the savalan gel collection that they gave me and this one was one of them that i only needed one coat with like we love a good one coat wonder okay <laughs> just make sure you put a good bit of product on your brush so you can do it in one coat and you're good to go and i put the matte top coat on off camera and buffed it out so we can go ahead and start on the silhouette of Patrick himself so with Patrick I wanted to start with a straight line down the middle and I started to try to do his legs but then I didn't like how they were looking so I'm just gonna wipe it away with some acetone really quickly and I'm gonna let the legs be one of the last things I do so I'm gonna draw an arrow and of course his head is like a cone shaped it's pointy at the top so i'm going to start with an arrow and then we're going to round it out afterwards the arrow is basically just there to give me the base of the shape so i can um 
be sort of symmetrical on both sides whenever I'm actually drawing it out. So in the picture, you can see he has his hands up. So I'm gonna do two swoops on each side just to represent his hands kind of going up. But yeah, the rest of his little round body, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that's basically the silhouette, like that's the shape of his body. So that's really what I wanted to go ahead and sketch out really fast. Got his legs down there. And then we're going to, of course, fill it all in with white i went on and cured the actual shape first that i drew out and then fill it in and then cure that and then we're gonna put the pink on top so i have a lot of mixtures going on so the mixture right here that you see which is the pink that's the mixture i use for the jellyfish well patrick isn't actually that bright of a pink so i wanted to just put a little bit of this brown that you see on the palette and mix it in there just to darken Patrick up just a little bit. Like he's not like a bright, vibrant pink, um, but I'm I'm not gonna color match him exactly the way it is on the shirt. But yeah, I think this is pretty good. The brown that I used was a brown that was in the Savaland kit, but it was, they have a darker brown in the kit. So I just lightened it up with a dab of white and that seemed to do the trick. So here lies Patrick Starr with no pants on, like he's naked, but we're going to clothe him in a minute. If you notice in the picture on the shirt, he has like his cheeks kind of going high up. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, etch out his little cheeks there. I didn't do it before because I, I missed that part. But like I said, we want to get every little detail so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in really quickly and cure the white and put the pink on top of that So that is that that looks really good it's going to make sense once i put in the facial expression details and all that other stuff of course you already know that but i'm going to take this green and we're going to put some pants on my guy because my guy he's very much naked he got on his birthday suit right now so um i just outlined his pants first and then i'm going to fill it on in Now, doesn't he look so much more presentable with his pants on, if I do say so myself? <laughs> um, so now I'm going to focus on the details of the pants. I'm just outlining the top part of the pants first so we can do the flower now. Y'all know Patrick. Patrick has flowers in his pants, purple flowers. And what I did for the purple flowers was I wanted it to, to be a little bit darker than the um purple background that we have like just a shade darker so i'm using the same purple that i use for the background but i put a dab of black just a little bit of black in there just so it looks a little different than the background not like it really matters but that's just what i did and now that i made the shape of the flowers i can go ahead and fill them in it's really starting to come together now, honestly, I want to do another flower kind of in the corner of his pants, but I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. But I basically did it the same way I did this flower.
So now I'm going to create more highlights or shadows or whatever you want to call it. Um, I took this brown. This is the brown that I said that I added some white to just to lighten it up. And I am going to use that and add clear to it. And then put them on the parts of his body that there are shadows on that I see on the shirt. So there's shadows up there on his head. There's one kind of next to his mouth. And then there's one on his side. You just kind of got to pay attention to the details. But it looks super, super good. There's more under his chin. So I'm going to add that there. And then underneath his eyes. And that just makes it look so much better. So much more detailed. So here is the finished look of Patrick. I really wanted to show you guys step by step everything that I did, every single detail. But this video is getting a little lengthy. And when I do videos like 30 minutes or over, it takes forever and a day for my computer to upload it to YouTube. And y'all, with this computer, I just got to pick my battles. So um, I'm going to show you guys how I use the Chrome really quick. So first, we're going to lay down this foundation gel. I am going to use a detailed liner brush to apply it because I want the chrome to be the flower. So you all know the flowers that are the bikini bottom flowers. That's basically what I want to do. And it was super hard for me to really trace it on camera. So I did most of it off camera and cured it for, I want to say I cured it for a good 60 seconds. And now I'm just gonna dab this little applicator into the chrome. This is the silver chrome. And go ahead and rub it in there. So, of course, the background is matte. So, it should not stick to the background. It should only stick to the foundation gel. That's what I was kind of counting on. And it actually did a pretty good job in doing that it's still kind of some of the chrome was still scattered around the flower but you can see for the most part it is on the flower i took some acetone off camera just to clean it up a little bit you can definitely see some of the chrome kind of smeared around the flower but i feel like if i would have matte out the whole nail first and then buffed it out and then did the chrome it would have turned out a little bit differently, but I was worrying about that matte polish smudging the red that I have in the jellyfish. So it is what it is. So now here's SpongeBob who I did off camera. This is the ring finger. Love the way that turned out. And then here's just an update of the jellyfish. You can see it side by side. Here's Patrick himself. I think the only thing that I didn't do is like the armpits, the green stuff in the armpits, but I feel like all in all, it really turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. Super detailed, love, love, love everything about this set. I am so thankful to Savalan for providing me gels to be able to create this masterpiece. Um, as you can see here, I kind of went too big with the Presto nails because I thought they were going to shrink once I, you know, kept curing and curing and curing. I thought they were going to shrink. So I wanted to go a size bigger. So just in case that they did shrink on me, then it'll be fine. But I kind of went overboard with that. So that's why they're too big. But I still, I'm super proud of this set. Y'all let me know how y'all like it in the comments down below. Thank you so much to Savalan again for sponsoring this video and for these amazing gel polishes. I will have the link for both these polishes and the chrome powders in the description down below if you click the link you can get 10% off you can also get 10% off by using my code this code ends on the 28th so make sure you go get this right now for 10% off and thank you so much for watching if you watched this far guys next week I will be taking you guys kind of behind the scenes of what I got going on right now I am currently in the process of packing up my things and moving so I wanted to show you that and tell you guys about a giveaway that I'm planning to do really really soon so stay tuned for that I love you guys thank you so much for watching again and I will see you guys in my next video next week